Hey tribe, what's up? I'm just uh, jumping in with a short video about what came today. Today comes something I uh, was eager to get my hands. It was uh, Sky Stars uh, Supreme RC receiver for Express LOS Diversity, and with a PN, a PA, and an LNA, which. Um, for those who don't know what it is, just does something special. It um, elevates uh, the power of the telemetry that comes back to you by a uh, huge amount, which increases your range with telemetry. So yeah, uh, Simon was the kind to uh, give me one of those. Simon from SkyStars, uh, this is on you, thanks a lot. Um, we will unbox it. <laughs> We'll rip it out of the, of, the, of the back here, solder it up and flash it with Express LRS 3.0 Release Candidate 1 and um, well, I will tell you along what I will see and find. Gotta say yes to Express LRS. The thing I can tell is it comes very good packaged, uh, we will just need to cut it open. This is uh, somewhat hard here, I just watching not to cut any wires or antennas okay that's it and here we go away with the waste and in there okay you see here we got the receiver itself which looks pretty nice it's the same size as the tbs nano rx um or the uh, which is same size, the same size as uh, the Beta FPV Nano RX for Express LS 2.4 GHz. And uh, you can see this is really nice. Um, well, even antennas are on. Um, these things are the problem, they're just the breakpoints where they cut it. That's no problem. It looks good as you can see. Um, quality is good. For me at least, it looks good. What more do we have? We have in an extra little bag some uh, some wires and a shrink tube and uh, this connector, which I will going to will be soldering on this in a second, like so. I do so usually as I like to have my receivers uh, pluggable, so this helps me to achieve this. Um, shrink tubing that's very nice because I like those to be. Uh, shrink tube and the wires um, on the silicon, I don't know, but yes, uh, they look good. I will put them back aside and uh, I guess it's time to solder up. I choose to get uh, this one with the T antennas. You can get this with the brass antennas too, so I found this to be more comfy somehow. Well, somebody tell me the difference in uh, if, they know, if they know in the comments, but uh, I don't know, but I find these to be more handy, so yeah. Let's solder it up, shall we? I've taken my FTDI and you can see how it's up and it's blinking just regularly. And we will wait for that time. Uh, it begins to flash faster, which means it's um, on its way into the access point mode where it will lock into the wireless uh, network called Express LRS. And from there we can just manually upload the, the um, firmware we just flashed and then we're good to go to take it from the wireless and um, just do as we usually do just flash it on your mount done something i just wanted to flash it and i figured if we don't take uh, releases 300 rc1 or 30 which should be a, available uh, available pretty soon we can't flash the sky stars uh, receiver because it's not in the target list anyways we will do so like what they say and here is 3.0 RC1 we will just give it a try and see if it works and go for the usual stuff let me see let me see looks good looks good looks good finding phrase wireless and so on I want to flash it as a file and as I just built so it begins to compile stuff and I will just talk to you while it does so. Um, my soldering skills are a bit rusty as I can determine by looking at the receiver, which uh, we will power up in a second. Uh, this is still compiling and doing stuff. 
and it says, well, there you go, it's finished. That's good, that's pretty good. Okay, what we'll do now is uh, uploading it to the receiver and see how it worked with it. We will power up the receiver now. Let's open up the network and you can see the version is something unknown for our express address that doesn't matter we scroll down to the fair update part where you can pick your file and uh, take my sky sparse rc and just pull it over like so and say update and uh, i say update once more because i need to push twice sometimes here and it says it's working okay target mismatch that's interesting. That's interesting. We should not do so because it says it's invalid. At this point I chickened out, sure. But uh, I made my mind for some seconds and figured that it had to be the same firmware, the right firmware as it said Matic in both ends. The one detected and the one already present. So I re-ran the uh, dialog and flashed it. There we go, it's in access point mode, opening up a wireless place, and we'll go find it. After reaching the access point mode and logging into the wireless, you can see it pops up in the configurator just as expected. Just click it, select it, and you see the facts on it, like so, select it, and you can reflash it to whatever you want. So yeah, it does work. Not as expected, but it does work. As long as you flash it as Matic, and ignore the message you saw, that will do. And afterwards it's just normal plug and play like you do with the other receivers. And uh, well, that's it for now. I am eager to try it out. What do you think? Will it perform better? I guess yes. Anyways, thanks for watching. PC ya. Bye bye. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome.